Hello and welcome to the third video in this series, Linked List versus an Array. In the last video, we talked about how an array is stored in memory. Um, in this video, we will talk about how a linked list is stored. All right, let's get right into the, the cool stuff. So let's assume I have a linked list here defined that has five elements, which are all integers, so numbers. And let's assume I am the computer, okay? So what I would do is this, okay? All I need, because I know this is a linked list ahead of time, all I need is to make sure that I have enough five space in the memory, anywhere in the memory. For example, let's do this. Let's perform this operation. So let's start with the first one, which is one. One, next one is two, three, four, five. And that's really it. I, with linked list, you do not have to have like five consecutive memory units. So that's really the difference. And it makes linked list really flexible to use. If you have an array, if you don't have enough memory, um, it's not going to work. So let's up our game a little bit. I delete uh, what I had. Let's uh, make this memory block a lot more unavailable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's block two more. Okay. So this is the memory that we are working with, okay? And we need to store um, a linked list that has five elements. Let's go ahead and do that. So one, randomly, two, three, four, and five. That's really it. Our memory is full, but we are able to insert all of our elements in the linked list. If this were to be an array, we cannot do that. An array needs to have con continuous uh, memory units. So for example, I'm just drawing an another memory block. One, two, three, four and five. So an array has to have a whole block, uh, a whole unit that are consecutive. Otherwise, the, your computer, my computer won't be able to store the array you defined. So that is uh, the difference in terms of um, insertion, and it really makes linked lists uh, uh, have an edge over an array in that regard. Um, so here, let me talk about some of the differences between the two. Um, so we have seen how like in terms of memory, a linked list is really nice because you don't have to have that consecutive uh, uh, memory space. An array also has its own advantages, okay? And we, we will see that shortly here. If, let's say I need to get 
this is my array. Let me define a linked list. Constant linked list equals to some random um, uh, number. Um, let's actually do this. Um, data have one. Next is going to be another linked list data. And uh, two, the next. If you don't know what I'm doing, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to put this null. Okay. Um, uh, let me make it, uh, let me extend that a little bit. Data three, next, no. So this is the basic structure of how linked list actually looks like. So let me delete these. What am I doing here? Let me actually link list. Makes a little readable. So I have two uh, list here. The first one is an array. The second one is linked list. I'm putting this so I can we can discuss a little bit about some of the advantages, the pros and cons of each. So let's talk about an array. With array. If one advantage that an array has over a linked list is what is known as access. This is what it means. If I want to, all I need to do with an array is to do this. My array and that's it. Instantly. I'm able to get the value too. So this will give me a two. Um, well, with my linked list, literally with linked list, I have to, if I want this value too, I have to start from um, what is called the head. I have to know my starting point. And in this case, my starting point is the whole uh, linked list. But basically, I have to start from the beginning. I have to traverse. I have to go through this one and go to the next and then get it. So I have to traverse. I have to go. Um, I have to cross over one element, which is this, to go over and get the two. So that's a disadvantage. This gives us just really quick access, instant access. Um, that is not how it works with linked list. Now, one advantage that um, linked list has over an array is ad adding another element. So let me add, add here as a title. If I want to add another element to an array, well, this is what happens, okay? Let's say I want to add the number four into this array. What would happen is my computer will have to make a new array, so it has to make a new array. Yeah, let me comment that too. New array that has that has four space four uh, element spaces. Why? Because this one has one, two, three, and I'm adding one more element. Okay. So it has to make a new array that has four, uh, uh, four element spaces. So for example, new array 
four. It has to make that. And then it has to move all of this into this new array. And then finally add the fourth array in, in, into it. So as you can see, there are quite a few things that goes on uh, when you are adding anything into an array. With linked list, is that with linked list, if I want to add four to the end, all I need to do is because usually the way linked list is designed, we don't have a native linked list data structure in JavaScript, okay? Um, so, we, so if you want a linked list, you literally have to make it. Um, but in any case, all you need to do with a linked list is to know the end of your linked list, which you always do if you design the structure, and say, okay, I know where the end is. All, all you need to do is to say, um, the next, should point to four, and then the next for the four should be null. And that's really it. Constant addition, like you'll be able to add it without traversing anything uh, without, without having to do much. And there are a couple, couple, couple advantages, pros and cons of array over a linked list. Um, um, if you want to read more, uh, please feel free. Um, if you want me to make another video really going into details about all the differences and advantages, pros and cons, I'll be happy to. But now you get the idea um, of some of the advantages and disadvantages of Array. So what would you use? What should you use? Well, really that depends on um, your application. Uh, so, um, but... Uh, in JavaScript, uh, array tend to be used heavily, heavily a lot. Um, so, but yeah, guys, that is uh, what I have for now. Um, please uh, feel free to um, to comment uh, if there's any criticism of my video, if there's any correction, and um, I, I welcome any um, any input from you. I really appreciate your time um, that you devoted watching this video, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.